Okay, so I was testing this brand new RTX 3090 Kimpin recently on LN2. I did two mounts with uh, different thermal paste on uh, both attempts and it's not very good. I was already facing like thermal paste cracking issues at around like minus 120. And uh, pretty, I'm pretty sure the reason is uh, the bad GPU surface. So uh, as you can see, the thermal paste spread is very, very bad between uh, or well, what I mean on the GPU. So uh, only that corner has been like uh, attached to the port quite well and the rest of the GPU surface has been very bad. Same thing over here on the uh, GPU port itself. And actually the on the first run, there was actually water between, uh, I mean over here, between the pot itself and the GPU die. So uh, that was very weird. So when I was running, so for example, I was running 26 something at minus 120, it would crash somewhere like uh, in at the halfway. And then after that, it would never run. So it was like a silent crack that didn't happen like uh, instantly by, uh, I mean, with that snap sound. So pretty sure then that uh, this GPU itself needs a lap and uh, I will be doing yet another different method this time. So the uh, the whetstone lapping method was very very good. I can happily recommend it but you need to pay attention carefully on the stone itself because the uh, uh, overall surface of the whetstone will wear off quite quickly once you use it to lap anything like a GPU in my case. So what, we, what I will be doing is that I will be utilizing a long piece of glass, just like the Bauer. And uh, I actually purchased two of these uh, uh, glass like panels, if you can call them. So uh, these were actually very expensive. It's very hard to find a, a piece of glass like this, like cut to very accurate size. So I, pu I purchased two of these uh, panels and they actually cost me around 90 euros with shipping. So it's a very, very expensive thing because it's very hard to find very small uh, pieces of glass like this. So uh, the thickness is 12 millimeters. That was the best I could find here in Finland. The perfect measurement would be 11 millimeters due to the uh, PCI Express connectors. So that's what that's the measurement the bow used. So in that case, you wouldn't have to uh, put any force behind the GPU in order to lap the card like evenly. So now as the panel is 12 millimeters, I need to put some force behind the GPU, just like what I did with the uh, whetstone, if you remember. But uh, I don't think it's that bad, because then I have one extra millimeter as spares, if you know what I mean. So uh, what I will be doing is that I will be uh, removing the uh, heat sinks, the PCI Express or the rear I.O. plate over here. And then I will just do the same method as before. I will, uh, I have some uh, sandpapers which I purchased today. So I have 1200 grit, 1500 grit, 2000 grit ones and even some very fine ones like 4000, 6000, 8000. But I don't think you need any finer than 2000 grit. The, uh, when I used the whetstone, the 1500 grit stone was absolutely fine. So uh, I really, I still think you should purchase one of those stones and give it a try, so to say. But now what I will be doing is just, I will just clean off the table, I will attach the piece of glass on the table with some duct tape and then I will use, I will do this lapping process the same way uh, what I did when I used the whetstone, so I'm sure you, what, you get the idea. I currently have some LN2 in the house, so I want to get going as soon as possible, so I will uh, do most of the thing, or I will do most of the work off camera, but uh, you already know the exact procedure anyway, so just saying. But, uh, a glass panel should be the best option because that doesn't wear off uh, or wear out once you actually move the card on top. So, uh, and that's absolutely even. So that, a piece of glass like that is for sure more even than any like sharpening with stone. So I'm sure you get the idea. But yeah, so now we'll get going. I will just re remove the heat sinks, the rear I.O. plate and clean off the uh, surface of the GPU properly and Let's see how the uh, GPU looks like after it has been lapped. Okay, and that's pretty much how the uh, sandpaper looks like on top of the uh, glass panel. So I actually recommend you attach even the sides on the uh, glass panel itself, because if you don't uh, 
use duct tape on, duct tape on the sides, they will uh, like uh, stand higher than the center of the sandpaper and that will uh, lap or grind the edges of the aluminum shim. So just saying, so if you do this, it will only touch, the sandpaper will only touch the uh, GPU. This is obviously a very slow and tedious process, but I will keep going. I just want to see the thermal paste spread after uh, all of the texts are gone and uh, dye has a, like a new finish and all of the uh, like stock shiny uh, surface is gone. So let's keep going. And okay, so that's how it looks like now. So uh, the thermal paste spread after the lapping process. I think it looks pretty good. So uh, that's pretty much like a dry mount and it's pretty much impossible to make it better than this. So you can see next to no thermal paste left on the die itself. Pretty much all has been uh, like pushed away to the sides. And here's the die itself. Looks pretty good. Pretty much the same as with the water stone. Very little uh, like uh, copper exposure on the shim. And uh, there was none after I started to uh, tape down the sides of the uh, uh, sandpaper on the glass panel. So uh, I used like two full uh, 1200 grit sandpapers and that one over there is just one piece of 1500 grit. So I think I could still do let's say like 2000 but I don't think it's really needed. So uh, this whole process took me like at least three hours so it's a very slow process to do. And it was even longer with the whetstone. Uh, De Bauer was able to do the lapping quite quickly but it's because he used a very rough grit sandpaper. I think it all, it was only like 500 grit or something like that. It was like a microfilm, but it was quite rough compared to normal like sandpaper or grits. So I wouldn't use any uh, like rougher than 1000 grit uh, on a GPU die like this, so just saying. So yeah, so this is like GPU lapping part three. So uh, I think this would be the most optimal way uh, you could use some uh, like adhesive sandpaper or adhesive uh, like lapping microfilm that would stick better towards the uh, glass panel because if you use just normal sandpaper and uh, attach it with duct tape the sandpaper will always move when you move the card on top so it's not the most optimal way to attach the sandpaper onto a piece of glass like this, but that's the only way I could do it for now. But yeah, based on this uh, GPU die, I'm pretty happy. Now let's just hope it works. I will clean off the uh, thermal paste residues and I will clean off all the uh, like uh, metal uh, remnants from the GPU and around the uh, die itself. And then it should be good to go tomorrow with LN2 once again and see if I can get any better than this. So yeah, so if you like to see this uh, yet another GPU lapping video, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.